Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is Sandwich.io, a portable Raspberry Pi system I created a few weeks ago with onboard power, a specialized cooling layer, and even RGB LEDs for aesthetics. Here's an important question. Does it run Doom? Indeed, this system supports Doom, including Wolfenstein 3D, which is really amazing. This configuration was created primarily as a retro gaming emulation station by flashing the SD card with the open source user-friendly Recalbox OS, which is based on the retro arch. The fan layer, Raspberry Pi carrier board, and a battery bank layer are the three layers that make up this system. The display holder layer is the fourth layer I've included in this revision. The fourth layer houses a 7-inch HDMI display that works with Raspberry Pi to make the entire system wire-free. Because it's operate on an onboard battery, it doesn't need adapters and can thus be carried about and used anywhere. This solution is used for a variety of Raspberry Pi related tasks where we need an onboard battery, active cooling and a display. For instance, we can might set up a server, create a useful arcade, or simply use it as a Raspberry Pi desktop. I copied the fan layer PCB and use it in the display mount layer in the CAD model. I designed a new PCB to install the 7-inch display using a straightforward lever that tilt the panel because the lever has four PCB standoff at the backside. The rest of the design is the same as previous sandwich.io configuration which contains three layer connected to each other using four PCB standoffs each. Two boards make up the PCB design. One will be attached to the back side of the display and other is the fourth layer PCB that function as a power distribution layer with CON2 ports on the input and output and a switch in between them to turn the power line on and off. For aesthetic purposes, I remove the solder mask top layer of the PCB's top edge and place a wolf vector image there instead. This allowed the PCB to be coated in HASL process, which give off a silver tint. After finalizing the board, I send them to PCB Wave for sample. After finishing the PCB design, the Gerber data for both ports were sent to PCB Wave quote page, and an order was placed for a black solder mask board with white silk screen. In terms of overall quality, it was outstanding. Both PCBs contain graphics on the solder mask layer and silk screen layer and the quality of this custom artwork is extremely high. I've been using their service for a while now and I must say that these PCBs that I've received were excellent, just as expected. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at an economical price and high quality. The project page which also include the assembly details and the CAD design can be found through the link given in the video description. The sandwich.io functions perfectly, just as it did previously. Since we no longer needed to connect an external monitor, the addition of a 7-inch display to the Pi setup in this edition make everything much more user-friendly. To test how this configuration function as a Pi desktop, we run Raspbian OS and first thing I did was install Minecraft. Minecraft Pi edition doesn't come pre-installed. So to install it, we first open the terminal and type the following command. Once that finished, Minecraft Pi and the Python library should be installed. Next, in the terminal, we enter Minecraft Pi and it will open Minecraft application. The project is completed and the game runs without any issue. Sandwich.io is simply an over-engineered fancy pie case with a display, power source, active cooling, and RGB lights. This is it for today, folks. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PC service and stencil service for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.